If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And by all means, please feel free to share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at the farmhouse. But before that, this video is brought to you by Cotton Farmer and Dang Driver. Thank you for being farm barons. So the farmhouse map, which can be found over at the farmingsimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu, and as of the 1.0 release, is going to be available for PC players only. Now, I really don't know why this is a PC only map. At any rate, let me read you the description. This map represents an area of Andalusia and has no real city, only an industrial area. There are three large forest areas, one vineyard, which is ready for harvesting, and a plot with olive trees, which is also ready for harvest. In addition to the standard base game olive trees, there are 630 other olive trees, which are planted and ready to harvest, and those are going to require the required mod of olives and olive picker. This map also has 22 fields, not all of which are flat. Some are significantly hilly. I hope you have as much fun playing this map as I had in creating it, says the map author. And this is my first map to be made available to the public. Well, with that, let's go ahead and load on into the map. And we'll talk a little bit about the two required mods that are also available. So we've already talked about the olive and olive picker mod. We also have the placeable steel silo. Those are going to be the two required mods that are included with this map download. In addition to those required mods, we are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food or review, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. Now, if you happen to load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you will find that the starting farm is exactly how you're going to see it here in new farmer mode. In addition, you do start out with starting machinery. Now, with respect to low-end systems, when I loaded in here for the very first time, I did suffer some frame drops when I was looking in this general direction. At first glance, I thought, well, maybe, just maybe, it is this willow tree. So I moved beyond the willow tree, and I was still suffering some frame drops when I looked in these general directions. And I believe it may be due to the large number of olive trees that are over here. Also, I was suffering some frame drops when I was looking in this general direction. And again, we have a fair number of olive trees, base scheme, and modded. And then we have those trees off in the distance as well. And we all know fairly much that FS22, well, trees can significantly drive down frame rates. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. Now, this is a very interesting map where we have all of our agriculture to the north and east. A huge portion of the south is going to be preoccupied with forest. And then we've got a bit of a forest marshy area over here to the west. We do have all our standard crops available to us in Farm Sim 22 available on this map. And we take a look at our farmland screen. You'll see we start by owning farmland ID 1. That is going to be the main starting farm. In addition, we also own farmland ID 4. We have farmland ID 59, which is a buildable zone. That can be bought for $110,000. Farmland ID 48 is also a buildable zone. It can be bought for $50,922. Farmland ID 50, which is rather interesting because there is a lot of heaped up product. Up there, we're going to talk about that when we get to the fly around. You can buy that for $89,000. We do have a biogas plant, which you can buy here at Farmland ID 61 for $61,884. And in, in any alternate game mode, you can buy the main starting form for $269,000. Let's go and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are. If those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included? Then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? We cross-reference that with our field calculator screen. This is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And then with respect to our precision farming soil map, 
This map is making up use of the US soil map that is a part of the precision farming mod. So let's go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. So some fields directly north of the main starting farm, fields 14, 2, 9, and uh, whatever this one is, which doesn't seem to have a number tied to it, they are going to be predominantly silty clay, but everything else is going to be an interesting mix of sand, loamy sand, or sandy loam and loam. We do have our standard base game crop counter available to us here on this map. And looking down through our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops. In addition, we do have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. We also do have the ability to sell all of our base game production items, which is always a great thing to see. Now, with respect to lime, we do not have the ability to buy bulk lime. That's okay, because you're going to find that there is lime available to pick up. We also do have the ability of selling stones, and I would probably suggest putting down that production that will convert stones into lime because you're going to find that there is a fair bit of stones just lying about. With respect to our farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of our farm production pack items, nor do we have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items either. Of course, if you do want to get into these with respect to that large forest area, you will need to put down your own sell point and productions. We do have the ability to sell our premium expansion productions and crops. And with respect to pumps and hoses, we do have the ability of getting rid of our separated manure, as well as our hay and straw pellets, if you are playing with the straw harvest add-on. We do start out with a decent listing of starting machinery. It's all owned, none of it is leased, and it all has well maintained. We have a sheep barn and a horse stable here on the main farm, are basically available to us, I guess I should say. We also have contracts available on this map, and we start out by owning the carpentry production chain. This map has three production chains built in, the oil mill, BGA, and carpentry. This map, lastly, does not have any collectibles. Taking a look at our starting fleet, we start out with the Bure 6105 and the New Holland TK4 methane power tracked tractor. We also have the Massey Ferguson 8S and the John Deere 4755. We have our top liner 4090H harvester. That is going to be paired up with the 4090H grain header and header trailer. We have our 1986 pickup truck, the Welger DK115 trailer. We have the Mercury 4000L sprayer. And that is going to be for spraying our grape and olive trees. That's going to be working with fer liquid fertilizer and herbicide. We have our TPN 140 mulcher that's going to be used between the rows of olive trees and grapes. We also have the Rave EG939 cultivator, the Norristeen HK25 NS 3030 cedar and power harrow combination, the Hauer XB190 front loader arms. We have a 1500 kilogram front weight, and we have the olive picker also as starting machinery and we're going to need to use this in order to collect the olives from those large individual olive trees with respect to mods and dlcs you'll see that this map does not have any particular mods or dlcs included but we do have the olive and olive picker and that is going to provide us the olive picker and a barrel of hydraulic oil which we're going to need for our olive picker Here at the main starting farm, we can sell pretty much everything that you see here. We have our farm silo. This is going to be one of the two required mods. So we have a dump and fill point there. We also do have the ability of getting rid of these light poles. We start out with three barrels of our oil. And we also have mineral feed and solid fertilizer pallets. See our olive picker is located there. And then inside of this shed, we also have a pallet of liquid fertilizer and a pallet of silage additive. 
We have fuel storage. We have our farmhouse with our sleep trigger. Our wardrobe trigger is going to be here around the corner in the garage. We have our electric charging station. So more of our machinery. And then, interesting enough, we have heaps of lime, solid fertilizer, and sea under the shed, ripe and ready for the picking. That is pretty much the starting farm. Now, right outside the starting farm, you're going to see that we have a whole bunch of these large olive trees. And scattered around within these large olive trees, where you're going to find piles of stone. There's another pile. There's a pile off in the distance over here. There's another one off in the distance over there. They're pretty much everywhere. Now, if we get a little altitude, we can see our starting farm located right here. Again, we can sell everything on our starting farm. And now you can really see where these stone piles are located. So we have these large olive trees on three sides of our starting farm. And then we have a very large grove of standard FS-22 base game olive trees here just across the street. Then we have our forest. And then we have a large grape area just up here on the hillside. Just to the north of our starting farm, we have our oil production. We're using a standard base game FS-22 oil mill. So we have an interactive icon, our dump point, and our pallet spawn point. To the west, we have the biogas plant. As I mentioned earlier, we can buy the biogas plant by simply buying the land. When we do do that, we will be able to sell the BGA if we wish, but the two three-sided silage bunkers, they are going to remain. Now, this has been set up where you could actually back your trailer up and dump into the back of the silage bunker, which is a really cool addition. We have some fields up here on this upper plateau, and then we will just completely, the bottom drops out of it down here to this lower level. We have some hilly grass meadows. Another set of these olive trees all on this hillside. Here we have some of the fields that do have some being climbed to them. Our fuel station is predominantly placed up here on this plateau, right by the field six and nine. Made our way across the northern part of the map. You can see the elevation changes, terrain changes there. We have our vehicle dealer building. This is actually going to be a cell point in the GCHB grain elevator. Hmm. Didn't really look like an elevator to me, but okay, we'll go with it. We've got an interesting, uh, Yes, flooded area. We have our sheep pin. Sorry, our horse stable. Horse stable and sheep pin, they always look so similar. Here we have our sheep, we have our food. We're going to be good for 14 sheep in this very interesting and odd arrangement. Down here, this is buyable. You could buy this and put additional things down here. Another cell point located right there. 
it's almost like stuff is missing. And I really don't like it when things come up like this because it looks like there should have been something there and something over here, especially with these cars parked here. But you don't know, did, did something just not load in right? Or is that how it's supposed to be? All right, got another cell point down here. So this is going to be our animal dealer cell point, our bowling center station, and our proper vehicle shop. So we have our dealer trigger, but I'm not seeing any indicators as to denote where that dealer trigger actually is. So let's go ahead and see. And it looks like it's actually inside the barn there. It would be nice to see those indicator markers. And then we have our dealer buy icon right outside. And then as far as our vehicle spawn point, well, that is, hmm, very interesting story. So looky, looky here. When we buy our vehicles, it actually spawns up here. There's the shop. Right here we are. And then we have our castle. And there's our starting farm over there. So we're going to be able to come down the road and really make our way over here to our starting farm. But it's very, very interesting that our vehicle spawns so far removed from the actual shop. While we're up here, we have our biomass heating plant. So this is going to be a log and wood chip cell point. And it is directly to the west of the starting farm. Let's circle back and continue to make our way to the north because I really want to show you this, this interesting building between fields 15 and 14. And while we're making our way over here, we have our other animal pin, the sheep this time, 65. So fairly standard base game animal pin. We were food and our wool. So with respect to base game productions being built into the map, we are going to do the map a full point because we do have three productions built in, in a BGA, an oil mill, and a carpentry. With respect to the ability to sell all our base game crops, animal outputs, and productions, yes, we do have the ability to do all of that. So we're once again going to use the map a full point. Now here we are between fields 15 and 16. This is buyable land. And if you do buy this land, farmland ID 50, for $89,000, you'll get access to heaps of wood chips, straw, chaff, solid fertilizer, silage, and wheat just piled up here ready for the taking I came in here when I was testing earlier with a wheel loader and after I bought this I was freely able to scoop up any and all of those products continue to make our way across the north we have several fields located here and then just to the south we have the marshland if you will we have a farmers market sell point located right here and then we have the actual animal dealer to actually buy animals from located over here as well this is one of the two buildable sites that i talked about earlier other than the parked car you've got your free reign of placing things there once you purchase it and speaking of purchasing things and the farm being customizable. The main farm is completely customizable. 
Now there also is a starting farm at, or there is a parked car at that starting farm, but I did not take any points off for that. It's out of the way. I don't think you're going to run into any issues. As we make our way into this forest, we're going to find our carpentry. And this is a production chain that we do own at the start. So we're going to be able to bring our logs into here and process them into furniture. And then the rest of this map is just a huge, huge forest. With one exception. And we're going to go over there right now. So as far as the farms be customizable, we're going to give the map a full point. I think I've already mentioned that. We're going to give the map a full point with respect to buildings and ground textures using the newer tex texture technique because he is using all FS22 buildings. And if you didn't have enough stones in the olive area, well, this entire area over here in this forest is a giant pile of stone. So if you own this land, you're going to be able to scoop up all the stone and, well, really do whatever you want with it. And this road is going to take us right back by the main starting farm. I looked at this, this water retaining basin, and I thought, well, maybe there is a trigger there to fill with water, but I couldn't find one. I didn't identify a trigger either. So I think this is merely a deco object. Got some fairly large fields over here to the east in fields 20 and 21. And then let's really quick take a look at our build mode. With respect to buildings, we have all standard FS22 buildings here, mods, and such, there's nothing built in. We have two placeable silos that we can put down. Those are again, part of the required mods. And then as far as productions go, we're looking fairly standard there as well. Cell points, greenhouses. Under orchards, we do have the placeable olive trees. And we can place these on land we own. I just want to see if we can put one down. Because we may be very, very over the limit. Alright, so we got to get out of, out of this. Okay, so we can put down additional olive trees. That's good to see. All standard animal pins. And then our ground textures. We're looking at very minimal ground textures and fairly basic plants. So with respect to trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked, we're gonna have to take a quarter point off because we do not have clear indicator markings at the maintenance area of our vehicle dealer. So that's going to wrap this map up with a score of 4.75 out of 5. And man, some of these fields have huge, huge inclines. Make sure you have plenty of machinery or plenty of horsepower for your size machinery if you're going to be working up those hillsides. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to the farmhouse map. It's kind of an interesting map. I really don't know why it is listed as PC only. We had a few PC only maps drop as of late that really didn't have too much explanation as to why they were only available for PC. Hopefully this map and the other maps that we have seen drop like that get cleared up and get released for console in the very near future. And until next time, happy farming.